Katie, it's Saturday! As you can see, I have received a haircut. Not just any haircut, though. A ridiculous haircut from a ridiculous man who gives me a ridiculous story to tell on this ridiculous channel we have. Thesaurus fail. So background story. So my dad has this friend who has this hair salon that he goes to when he needs his haircut. And he went to this guy in the hair salon a couple weeks ago. His name was Joe. And Joe has brain cancer. And as he was doing my dad's eyebrows, he accidentally cut his eyelid. Right, right here. It was... It was frightening to look at for a couple weeks. So for some reason, father thought it'd be a good idea if I went to Joe. But I'm terrified because it's like, well, I don't want my face cut. But obviously that didn't happen. So I'm freaking out, but we get there and he sits me down and he says, tell me what you want. He's from Lebanon and I can't do a Lebanese accent, so you're just gonna have to bear with me. Um, can, can I just get a trim? I do not do that. I only change lives. He really said that. What do you want today? Can I just, I want to keep my long hair, but maybe some layers. I Stop talking. When you go into a doctor, do you say, cut here, snip here for surgery? No. Let me do my job. But you asked me what I wanted. Now tell me, what shape of head do you have? A uh, oval? Oval is the perfect head shape, which you do not have. I kid, you have oval, a eh, little rectangle. Okay. Everyone has an eye that is higher than the other one. Do you know that? Okay. Do you know that? Sure. Which one is yours? Is it, is, is it, is it this, is it this one? I don't know, you tell me. I, I guess I'll, I'll go with this one. Then. So then he cut my hair, which was a fun experience. He would like take a strand of my hair or whatever and then twist it like all the way up. Obviously it's not as pretty as his. And then he go, snip, 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 snip. And I'm just like, this is crazy. Like, I don't know what's happening. At the end, the back of my hair is like up to here and I look like Snooky. And he's like, it'll go down in like 10 minutes. And it did. Here is a picture of Joe, that fabulous artist. This is me looking like Snooky, which is ridiculous. And this is the final result, which I still kind of look like Snooky in the back. I'm pretty satisfied. He did change my life, and I was just overwhelmed with how crazy that experience was, and I wanted to share it with you. I'm gonna go babysit two French girls that I don't really know how to pronounce their names right, but that's just how my life is. DFTBA.